there's been a lot of speculation about the Metro Metro Festival and a lot of like fake news a lot you know so I look like shit So if you're from Montreal, you've obviously heard of Metro Metro Festival. So um, let me read a description of Metro Metro Festival. So the festival is being held on uh, May 18 and 19. It's, it's the very first edition of Canada's largest urban music festival will take place. So it's mostly like hip hop and R&B or the biggest like the most popular people right now, like you know, R and B and like hip hop is like really in. So, yeah. So the venue is at the Olympic Stadium. The Olympic Stadium. That's really big. I'm kind of skeptic because we we've never seen any concert or like anything like that being held over there. And I'm really curious and excited to see the pictures of the inside, like of the venue. All right. So the featured artists are Cardi B. On Saturday, well, like on one one day, Future on the other day, uh, Snoop Dogg, Juice World, Asa Ferg, Tyga, Sean Paul, uh, Ludacris, Rich the Kid, Waka Flocka Flame, uh, Saidi, Gashi, and blah, blah blah. I'll just like put it right here. So obviously those are big titles. Like I got excited, everybody got super excited because those are big people and it's, and it's like really fun because it's like a hip hop, it's like a hip hop only festival. Kind of like rolling all out, rolling out. Anyway, so basically the whole fucking, is, it went crazy. Montreal people were going up and down. It went everywhere, Quebec, Hannah, everybody knows about it. So any first festival, first event, first edition, always has little error mistakes. The initial price tag was $170. I think it's for two days, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Yeah, for two days. But then when people would add in the cart with the taxes and the fees, like hidden fees, it will go up to $216. They were a bit mad. So some of them even sued Cardi B and Snoop Dogg. That's a bit too much there, but people are getting mad. So now a big lawsuit is being filled against the festival already for uh because the consumers wants their money back well yeah well, those are little mistakes that are already happening i'm curious to see later so just to do a little comparison oshiega tickets are around 320 dollars for three days and this one is 210 dollars for two days with the fees. So let's see full whole lot. Uh, the Oshaga lineup came out and it's actually so bad. I'm so disappointed. Because the thing with Oshaga, it has, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful festival. Thousands, thousands of artists. Uh, it's not a first edition, you know what I mean? Like, it's super well organized. It's amazing. So many, so much security. It's like, Oshaya has their shit. On the other hand, Metro Metro Festival, we have no idea what's going on. So you're just buying your ticket, and you have you're just buying two hundred two hundred ten dollars, and you have no idea what you're getting. You're not a hundred percent sure because the only thing that's out is the artist and the venue place. So now let's go on the website to actually see. So 70% of the tickets are sold out. 70% and it's been, I think, a week and a half it's been out. I, I mean, that's really good for, for, for them, but let's look at the policy, the buying policy. If they would refund you, no matter what, it clearly says there is no exchange or refunds once a ticket is sold. So let's say you buy it and what, what, like any tickets, honestly, so that's fine. Honestly, we're reading the policy, but let's say like the fire festival, like, policy sometimes doesn't mean shit, you know. Maybe uh, Festival Metro Metro has the right to refund you in another way or exchange, or exchange for like events, like different events. It's kind of weird. So now to go more into the 
conspiracy um let's actually see what cardi b or any other artist have said all right so let's see what car if cardi b said anything about it or snoop dogg or future let's see about that and i can't find anything why would Cardi B, Snoop Dogg, Future would agree to participate in this like new festival in Montreal? I mean, but I don't know, but like that seems a bit sus. Um, I think number one, one of the artists is gonna back down. Like it has to be like the lineup is. It's too good to be true. So that's, those are my opinion. I'm not saying it's gonna happen. I don't want it to happen, obviously. I'm just saying, I think this is gonna happen. So um, it's way too good to be true. That's what I think, like personally. Cause even if I was an artist, sorry, but I'm not just gonna say yes to going to a festival in Montreal that is the first edition first year. I don't know. Especially Cardi B. Like, I don't get how he got Cardi B. Like, that's insane. That's, like, a like, good job if it's gonna happen, obviously. So, yeah, number for, number one, the lineup. It's, like, crazy good. Too good to be true. In my opinion. In my opinion. So, I think eventually something's gonna happen to the list. Like, someone's gonna buy down. Number two. Epic Park is the only location in Quebec able to accommodate large-scale indoor events. Because I know from one stage... To the other, you don't want to be, you don't want to hear the other music. Because if there's only two stages, right? Are they going to make one perform on the stage and then on the other one? Because that doesn't make sense. It's normally like two at the same time sometimes. Alright, so the capacity is over 60k. Let's keep this in mind. 60k, right? Alright. Yeah, um, 6K, not bad. I see the Instagram page, even though it could probably be fake, because I feel like fucking everyone fakes their followers on Instagram. So actually, it's not bad. Yeah, the capacity is 60K. We got this, like, it's all good. Get is, <clears throat> are the seats able to be taken off? Because there's no seats, right? Because if there's seats, it's just concert is it my crazy let's see what festivals are let's just see pictures of festivals no seats so now let's do indoor festivals let's see exist for indoor festivals so how are they gonna take this off that's a good question three has posted anything on their social media which is not the end of the world because it happens a lot we know it's not fake if they didn't post on Metro Metro. So let's look at their website. Laptop now. It's gonna go faster. Okay, we're on to something. Site. May 19, May 18, Metro Metro Festival, Montreal. Damn, I kinda wanna find her website. So that's chick. Alright, uh what else? Let's see future if he has a website. So I stopped there, so we can't really know. Is he Snoop Dogg? Oh, fuck, I really want to get my ticket now. That is not even updated. So we get, yeah, we got a confirmation. The whole, um, oh, like, fake, like, fire festival was because of the crazy, crazy lineup. But we kind of confirmed that the lineup is legit. Well, for Cardi B. That's like it's her website. There's nothing we can discuss on that. Um, email media, but did they have time? Do they care? Are they gonna do it for every single festival? No. Uh, one last thing. So Metro Metro well, Festival is being produced by um, Olivier Primo. So and he's the owner of Beach Club. He uh, brought in Paris Hilton and Kylie Jenner and other people. So it would make sense, oh, and David again. So it does make sense, like he obviously has contacts. He has a lot of contacts. 
A lot of people were coming at him with the oh fire festival, fake news. Um and it got him really hurt because like he works you could see that this guy like works a lot. Like he truly, truly loves it and works a lot. Let's see what he said about it. And well I'll put it on the screen. So So he was getting a lot of hate, like a lot of hate. And people saying like go oh, fake news and everything. And he's been saying like he worked really, really hard for it, so it's kinda disappointed that people would think the would think really bad of the festival. But it's just as too like amazing for it to be true. That's probably why. I would say the case is closed, but it's not really closed. And it's, but it's not really closed until um, the festival has happened. Even like clearly like the day before. Obviously, it's not gonna go as wrong because fire festival was like on an island, and like what went wrong is basically the fact. <clears throat> that it wasn't a venue like they made it they made the whole venue so in this case like the venue is already created he's just paying it so it's not it's not that bad yeah on Instagram I saw a lot of because you know when you pay ads on Facebook and Instagram for other people to see it well it's been everywhere ever on Facebook Instagram this ad is everywhere for the Metro Metro Fizzle at first I thought it was like a joke a little scam like I didn't even until the tickets went out, I was like, okay, so this is real. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. Maybe comment uh, what did you think when it first got announced. And make sure to click the notification bell. I'm trying to upload more and more videos because, yeah, I want to come back a bit. Alright, bye!